All right, let's talk about NVIDIA. Now that AMD and Intel have reported their quarterly earnings, by the way, if you missed those videos, those will be in the top right corner. But those companies might have given us a little sneak peek to what NVIDIA might report on August 24th. Now, again, all three companies are maybe in the same industry, but all of these three companies have a thing that makes them a bit more different. Now, Intel and AMD has basically shown us that the PC market is slowing down. AMD has shown us that even the gaming, the GPU market is slowing down as well, lower pricing there. But unlike with Intel, AMD actually had a great, great quarter when it comes to data centers. Now for Nvidia, data centers is now the biggest segment of their business. So expect that trend to continue for Nvidia as well. But they did tell us last quarter that this quarter they will be hit by around half a billion dollars. So there is that, take that into consideration. Now, before we go and look at all the EPS revisions, etc., if you want to support this channel, do check out the link down in the description below and in the pinned comment to get the top 10 best stocks to buy now, or go to full.com for slash couch investor and make sure to check out all the other links in the pinned comment. So first things first here is what to expect from Nvidia. So EPS normalized estimates at $1.25, EPS on a gap estimate just under $1.99, and then revenue estimate of $8.09 billion. And as you can see here, EPS revision in the last 90 days, only one revised up, 32 revised down. And so let's check that out. By the way, I'm here on Seeking Alpha. This is a pro version. And just for the month of August, if you want, there is a link in the pinned comment and in the description where you can get more than 50% off. They're offering this only for the month of August. So if you want to check it out, be sure to check out the link. To be honest, I have been very, very surprised at how valuable all this information is, especially during the earnings season. And I'm not just saying this because I'm affiliated. I'm saying this because this is very, very valuable information. So. As you can see, and as we've seen in the past videos as well, you can see that from March, those EPS revisions have come down significantly, not just for this year, but January 25, 24, 23, and more. So you can see here on the way down, one month trend, red. Now, red and green here are sometimes the opposite, which is which is a bit weird. I've, I've told them about that, so let's hope they, they fix that. Now, as for revenue, revenue revisions, same thing here, was actually revised down a bit earlier at the end of 2021. Now they do expect January 2031 for Nvidia to generate more than $100 billion in revenue. And then in January 32, it will be down. Now again, this is nine years from now. So not many analysts are modeling until then. As you can see right here, Number of analysts in January 2031, only two, one year later, only one. So the main main numbers you want to focus on are probably those top three here until January 2025. You still have 14 analysts there. So again, those models can change when quarterly earnings are coming out. Now, as for a quick summary, they do give valuation an F, growth A B, which makes sense, profitability an A plus, momentum right now is A B. Six months ago, it was an A plus and then revision a D plus as we've seen why. Now, when it comes to Nvidia, this is how their last quarter looked like. So data center, the biggest one, gaming second biggest. And as we go back to Q2 fiscal year 2021, that was the last time that data center was bigger than gaming. Since then, up until Q1 of last quarter, gaming was bigger than data center but right now i really don't see how data center will become smaller it will only become bigger and bigger now when it comes to professional visualization so you have omniverse in there you have nvidia ai so omniverse by the way is a subscription product which will result in predictive revenue stream in the years to come which analysts love and then Omniverse and NVIDIA's AI will drive significant revenue in the future for the company, as they mentioned in the last earnings call. And so since this is software, it should increase margins as well. Now, as for auto, this segment is really, really unpredictable. As you can see in the last couple of quarters, goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. So really 
not that significant of a segment in the long term future you would like to see this number go up as more and more as basically all cars are connected ones and then OEM and others which gave us 8.28 billion dollars which means that this quarter quarter over quarter revenue will be down now as we said before the main reason it's down is because the estimated reduction of approximately 500 million dollars relating to Russia and China lockdowns they estimate the impact of lower sell through in Russia and China to affect the Q2 gaming selling by around 400 million dollars and the absence of sales to Russia to have a 100 million dollar impact in Q2 on data centers so that's why you see quarter over quarter it will be down they expect it to come in at 8.1 billion dollars if they can surprise us well expect the stock to go up much higher and as for gross margin still higher than both AMD and Intel 67.1 on a non-gap and 65.1 on a gap basis so that's good and operating expenses to come at GAAP $2.46 billion and non-GAAP $1.75 billion. So all in all, I do expect NVIDIA to have another great quarter when it comes to data center. When it comes to the gaming segment, obviously they will be taking a hit, not just because of what they expected last quarter, but because the overall gaming market has changed a little bit. But let's see if the difference of the growth in data centers and the decline in gaming will impact them even more than what they expected. In my opinion, I don't think so, because they do have professional visualization, which is growing as we've seen in the last couple of quarters. So let's see what happens there. Again, Nvidia, AMD, Intel, all in the semiconductor industry, but all a bit different type of companies. Now in the long term, Nvidia, in my opinion, is a no brainer, which by the way, if you wanna challenge me with your portfolio, you can do so here on stockcard.io we're having a competition up until the last day of 2022 if you win you get 250 dollars in cash and if you're in the top five you also get three months stock card vip access to this platform you've seen this a couple of times on this channel already right now we have c chase here that is leading the pack at 33.46 percent gain so if you think you can beat c chase and me and all the others link is down in the description below it's free to enter so why not and also make sure to check out our channel's portfolio it's also free to follow that way you can follow along how bad or how good our calls were also all the videos are linked when we buy or sell a position that way you can see the reasoning there so all in all with nvidia i'm very very excited to see how they report their earnings by the way it's happening august 24th same day Tesla stock split will happen on August 25th you will actually see the price of Tesla split so keep that in mind but do share your thoughts on Nvidia, AMD and Intel down in the comments below if you enjoyed this type of videos leave it a thumbs up if you are not subscribed to this channel maybe hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in the next one bye bye